Fastgen is a low-code API and workflow builder with an integrated Postgres DB to create custom business logic, automations, and complete backends. Let's check it out in under five minutes. The API builder lets you create any kind of REST endpoint. We start on this interface with this top action block up here, which lets you specify the settings and modifications of this specific endpoint we're about to create. You can give it a name, change the URL path, set up authentication, and specify validation rules for data that is received by this endpoint. The action panel on the right gives us flow controls, actions, and responses. Flow controls give the API structure and specify on what it should execute dependent on specific data that is received. Actions are executables. So if you want to query a database, for example, you drag and drop it in and you put down your SQL statements directly in here for whatever you want to do. We have a couple of native integrations like Slack, ChatGPT, and others. You connect these services in your settings and you're good to go to use them. The HTTP request action lets you call any API in the world as long as you have authentication for it. So you put down the request URL and you configure the request by sending along your authentication, your header, and your body content. At the end, you put a success and or error message able to specify the uh, status code and display some JSON. At the end, you hit deploy and the API will be live under this URL. FastGen comes with a debug mode to directly test your APIs in the platform. You're able to send test requests and you will see if the API is executing what you want it to. We will visualize if it's working or if it's not working. If something's going on, you can click into the specific action to see what's going on. Let us see all of this in action with a very simple API that I've previously created. This is an endpoint uh, which is public and it has some validation. It only accepts numbers and it's required to send a number to it for it to be working. When it's receiving a number, it will simply check if the number is larger than five and dependent on the result, it will either display a success message or specifically an error message. If we go to the debug mode and we send Two, for example, we will see that it chose this path and it says error true, this number is not large enough. If we send a six, however, we will see that this time everything worked out and a success. If we are trying to send something that is not a number and some basic text, we will send it and we will see that we are receiving another error because number must actually be a number. We can create two kinds of workflows on the platform, event-based and time-based. Event-based are predefined events anywhere on the platform that trigger workflows and this functionality lets you modulize your workflows. Time-based ones are essentially cron jobs that are running. So you choose your time zone and the time sequence that you want something to be triggered and you build your workflow very similarly on how you would build an API. Logs give us a full history of all API requests that have been made and all of the times a workflow has been executed. If we go through it, we can see the parameters and the, the action data, and we can view it in the builder to either make changes to it or understand what was going on exactly, where we can then see a single history for all of the time this specific workflow has been executed. In the database, you're able to create tables and we give you some pre-validation rules for specific data types. So text could be username and number could be payment ID. And we have some other types like Boolean values, emails, dates, etc. You can say it is unique and required. If you need your own validation rules, you can add them through regex here at the end. When you create a table, you're either uh, able to make changes to it manually like I do here or you make changes to it programmatically through APIs and workflows. Check out our documentation for many more complex APIs and workflows we've created and thanks for watching.